Alrighty folks, so what is it? It's Sunday, a little afternoon. Got a pot pie in the oven. And uh, I just want to pass on stuff that I know. Some of you out there might get something out of it. Alright, so we got... I want to uh, rehash... Let me look for a tuner. Um, I want to rehash. This is about creativity and about if you want to play melodies to a certain chord progression. And besides pentatonic, you've got that always. Um, the, the full scales, uh, I want to make those known. Um, an understanding, I won't get into it, but there's an understanding of certain chord progressions combined. And, and a song ain't always just out of a one key and it's only these scale blocks. Songs can change. They can be key changes and, and, and you can also play outside of this. This is kind of in the box, what I'm teaching. The seven scale positions, they, there's a modal name, but the, the modal name is only from a certain note to a certain note. So I'll get on that. Let me grab a tuner over here. And we'll play out of E, but this can apply to any key. You can go to G, it's all the same. All this stuff that I'm showing you is relative. You just move all of it for any key. Um, but if any of you has any questions, say, hey, can you teach me, show me something, like be kind of as specific as you can in the key of G or in F or C sharp or B flat, whatever you want. Comment and, and let me know and I'll be happy because uh, I'll be happy to uh, share information on, you know, what I do know anyways, it's I don't know everything, but I what I do know, I want to pass it on. My performing days are over because of this severe injury in the arm right down to the fingers. So when I play right now, my hand aches, but it's not unbearable pain. What's on the shoulder and in the shoulder blade, I got to take, you know, I take a Tylenol. I can't take painkillers. I can't do... Uh, that stuff, it makes me sick. Uh, that hurts so bad, I can't even take a shirt off. i got to do it with one arm. So anyways, I want to pass this knowledge on. Um, so we're going to take uh, E major. So your scale positions, we're just using E because it just so happens the Ionian, that's your Ionian would be your major. You know, in any way you might play, have a song that's, you know, could have... Something real simple, and that would be all out of E major, so you got, uh, you know... your pure major flavor uh, and then the, the F so staying in E or I should say all the notes of that E starting at the F sharp note of it because you've got an E F sharp G sharp A B C sharp and then a D sharp or E flat and then back to your E again and that's all there is is seven notes so now we're just gonna start with that F sharp and go up the same notes you know, uh, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp, or E flat, uh, and, and then to the E, and then to the F sharp. So now that, if I just go F sharp to F sharp, that's your Dorian flavor. And, and if I want to go all the way up that block, go anywhere on the fretboard when you learn this is about learning all the seven scale positions 
in one key, in this case we're showing you E, it's always going to be that no matter what key you play in. You start with your major, in this case we're doing E major, which is if you go E to E, it's Ionian. And then, you know, the second note in that E major scale is an F sharp. And if you go from that F sharp up to F sharp, continue in playing the same notes we started with. You just started with the next note up. That would be Dorian. And then we're going to go to the next one now, and that would be Phrygian if you go from G sharp to G sharp. It's the same seven notes, all of what I'm showing you. It's only these seven notes. All of what I'm doing right now. There's your Phrygian mode if you just go G sharp to G sharp. Next one up, so that would be uh, if we did all of them in that block. See how that resolves? You can resolve on that major, E major. So you, you're always going to have this in, in a key, your basic, I don't know why they call it theory, to me it's fact, uh, you'll have a, you do re mi, and if you play just do re mi fa sol la ti, that's Ionian, and then if you start with the re, do re, and, and go re to re, that's your Dorian, no matter what key you do, we move this to F, then everything moves up one fret. If we go to G, everything we're learning in E all moves up three frets. And they all continue that same way. Ionian, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian is your natural minor. And then Locrine, it's like would be a, off of a diminished chord. Then you're back to your major again. So, uh, so we got the E major. Dorian. Now that's only, again, the Dorian, I could play out of any one of these blocks and play all seven modes. You know what I mean? So I could play here. But I could start with this. You know? You know, and then I could play starting with the A in this block. reach for me when my fingers hurt. Uh, uh, and I could start with the B uh, here and uh, go and play B mixolydian. That's all right. So anyways, here's your A Lydian in E. Uh, if you're playing from A to A, playing the notes of the E major scale, starting with the A, because there's an A in E major. So we're just simply starting with that and continuing up the same notes we started with. So you hear that, that flavor, that Lydian flavor. Of course you can find everywhere there's an A note and play that scale, you know, it's just using the notes out of E major. Uh, and then the next one up from A. And the next one up would be B Mixolydian. And that's just going B to B. Because again, I could start with a. I could start with that A note and go up and play A Lydian. See, the, all seven modes are in each one of the blocks. So I that's why I don't say you call just because I'm in this block. It's B mixolydian. Well, it is if I just go B to B. I could start with the C sharp note, which will be the next block we're going to do, and it'd be C sharp minor. I got to think. And it now becomes this. minor, natural minor.
next one up is uh, uh, D sharp or E flat low crane. You know, so that'd be like a diminished flavor. And then back to your, your natural uh, E major. So, so if I'm playing to a track that's E major flavor, because I'm learning all them blocks, I can go into any one of the blocks and play out of it E major flavor. <laughs> I can go into any one of them blocks and just if I want the E major flavor then I focus on the Ionian mode-ish flavor so if I want that pure major flavor that's what I, I can go into any one of them blocks that's why I'm always talking about uh, for those of you who want to be you know expand your creativity uh, is to me the foundation of it all is first your pentatonic uh, and in this case the E major would be C sharp minor pentatonic if I start E to E it's E major focusing on the diatonic, your full scale. So, um, and then if I wanted to play Dorian Flavor. I can go into any one of the seven blocks and me focus on going to the F sharp note and running off of it, down or up. You know? you know, in any one of the blocks. And that's the whole thing about learning the seven scale blocks. And when you get them down and you want, you see what the shape of them are, those shapes are the same no matter what key you go to. Then you can move them for any key. If you you want to be playing C Lydian flavor, well, that's out of that's you know a whole nother. I don't want to confuse and go into other keys, but it's all it's all relative. You move all them blocks to any key. I want that A uh, G sharp Phrygian flavor. <laughs> You know, and then I can go anywhere there's a G sharp note, you know, and just play off of it, thinking E major. No matter where I go for that G sharp note or its harmony, which uh, in this case would be, could, would be, could be, the third. So uh, out of E major, so I can go. I gotta think now. For that Phrygian flavor. In thinking E major on any one of the modes that are out of E, like A Lydian too. Then I can go anywhere on the fretboard, find an A note. You don't have to find the A. You can play out of any one of the notes out of the E major and, and just kind of to and from keeping it in that Lydian. B 
mixolydian. spread my fingers out now because of the torn uh, muscles and whatever else is torn in there. So you, you get that Lydian, a mix of Lydian flavor in B. You go mixolydian to lydian. Back and forth to B to A with that staying in the E. So you got that pure mixolydian flavor and lydian. And you don't have to run up the whole scale. I'm just showing you what notes are available in that block. You could. All right, and then then and then C sharp natural And then back to your name. So those scale blocks are huge by uh, getting those down and then uh, again you can play any modal flavor, you know, uh, Dorian flavor or the uh, Phrygian Lydian, Mixolydian, natural minor, low grain, depending on what the chords are. And then the other thing, uh, I don't, the cameras only gives, I only got 20 minutes and it shuts off automatically, then it restarts another video. So another thing I used to practice was I'd stay with E. Just, and then I would do E Dorian, which actually is the second block of D major, just to listen so I'd get a feel and hear what Dorian sounds like. And I'd do the same thing with Phrygian. I'd stay in E. I wouldn't go up the key of E and go E Dorian F sharp. I mean E Ionian F sharp Dorian G sharp Phrygian. Then I, I would stay. I, I saw this Joe Satriani talked about it years ago on a video. Stay in one key, on that one on E or A or G or whatever key you want to do it in. Play your Ionian. Then play Dorian in that same key. 